What's up guys, welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a ride in a super clean 87 Suburban. This one's got cold AC, 5.7350. And personally, I love this truck. It is very clean on the outside, inside. Disc brakes on the front, aftermarket set of American racing rims. It's got subs in it. We do have 100 detailed pictures of this ride in every car on the car lot has its own set of pictures. We also have financing and shipping available for you. And of course, every car has a test drive video just like this one. So be sure to hit subscribe, share this video and hit like. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we pull off the lot, we'll check the interior out on this one. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a little game we like to play on the champ. The dash is in great shape all the way across. It's got a little nice console here for your cups. Starts up nice and easy. It hasn't had much of a chance to come up on the temperature. That is freezing cold right now. Good old pressure, old pressure on this one. Um, show you the mileage on it. Gas gauge. Face the radio's in the office. It does work. It sounds good. Interior, nice and clean. We'll check everything out when we get back on the interior. Pull out all the flaws. It's got some LEDs all the way around in this one. Yeah, we'll be climbing to the back when we get back from the test drive. This one's got just over 100,000 miles. Horn. Wipers. Let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives. Okay, so we're going to take off down the road. Any flaws I see, I'll let you know. May have to move the cone. I think we can get out without doing it let's see here oh yeah we made it got my seat belt on in this one it looks nice new everything about this truck's clean Speedo's coming up on the dash, engine temperature's up now. We're going straight as an arrow down the road. We're up to about uh, 40 mile an hour now. Nobody's behind us, let's hit the brakes, check them out. Brakes feel great, real sensitive. She's got a good pull to her. down is hooked up on this one turn signals popping up on both sides of the dash nice and bright too so far so good this one's also got a tilt column Really digging the AC in this. It's a huge truck too to be cooling off. This thing's working great. Power locks work. Ashtray won't stay all the way up on this one. The 
Even your little pocket on the door is still in good shape. Got a little bit of pitting on your mirrors. We'll get to that when we do the uh, outside walk around. Checking everything out. While we're sitting at the light here, we're missing a screw on the dash. We don't need gas on this test drive. We got over a half a tank and it's floating around on there too, so I know we got gas. turn on this street here got to run some errands during this test drive figured this may be a good area for me to get some video footage I know of a huge parking lot down here I want to start trying out and if that works out I may start coming here sure I'm here we're gonna continue this video I'll get you some undercarriage shots also get you some outside shots we've got uh, t-shirts coming out soon hopefully tonight uh, the girls said it should be done soon we also got the cups the mugs and I got a bunch of those in and I noticed they immediately sold out I was like what so I appreciate that I'll get some more your way I've already contacted them asking them how do you even sell out on a site like this all right let's do this Okay, that window over there is a little bit slow. 
try these back ones too. The back ones get stopping right, right there, making a noise. This one over here comes all the way down, but it is a little slow. So the one behind the driver's seat, it's got an issue. But hey, you got AC, so it'll be all right. Just a second here, and we get y'all adjusted. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Okay, now what we're gonna do now is head on back to the lot. Let's see what the best route is. So I really like this location. I'm really thinking, hey, I might start coming over here. This is huge empty parking lots. I don't know why I haven't came here. So we'll start doing that. Only issue I have is um, these two roads here are extremely busy at certain times of the day. Should be good right now though. Engine temperature on this one is at like 190. Oil pressure still at 30. I can't complain on this truck. The suspension is nice and smooth. tracks here hey there's our speed bump golly <laughs> that speed bump is rough this truck has been lowered too so i'm sure that's what that was about This is the only issue with this street, is I'll probably get caught at this light twice every time. Because everybody stays in this lane and then you can't go right, just like this. There's some local friends driving classics. He's got a C10 truck over there and an old Ford. He came by the lot yesterday. Uh, Showing the Ford off, he just picked it up. It's a decent town here too. I love living in Hendersonville. I don't see myself ever moving out of here, but. My wife started real estate here too. So if y'all need any houses, just hit us up on maplemotors.com. We'll get you her card. She's a really good real estate agent. That's, I'm proud of her. Those are definitely aftermarket lights. <laughs> Look like something you can get off Amazon. Something like that. They got a screw in this one. They didn't put that in quite right. Need a really short double-sided tape, I'd say. Screw probably a little excess. The vent window here. That one does a little bit stiff. But overall, even the carpet's nice in this thing. All right, we finally got the green light again. You can see there's a mile, the traffic's backed all the way up to the uh, railroad track. See, I don't know about coming through here. Gotta figure something else out for the next video. Engine temperature still good, oil pressure's good. Trucking along here.
this one right here be a great truck to drive to lunch today we pick everybody up from the lot if you're asking about the arm uh this last weekend i got an rzr accident i was riding passenger and didn't have my seat belt on i guess i learned lessons from that right goodness just running down the middle lane like that i don't know if y'all know that's that's illegal probably for reasons like that guy <laughs> you're supposed to come up stop and wait for traffic and then take off Okay. We're back at the lot now. What I'm gonna do is pull in the parking lot next door and look at that. That looks pretty cool. But well, we're gonna pull in this parking lot here, walk around this truck, pop the hood, open the back, check everything out. Make sure I don't miss nothing. That way you know everything about it. I hope you enjoyed this test drive. If you did, hit subscribe, like, and share this video. We also have uh, some merchandise you can purchase here on YouTube under the store. Just go to the main page and go to the store. Right now, I got a bunch of coffee mugs and stuff. And at the end of today, I should have our first run of it's about that time t shirts. There's an SS truck and an old Ford. That thing looks like a, people threw all kinds of parts at it. That's not for sale. That's a customer's car. Somebody walking around the lot. Get my seatbelt off here and uh, let's do this. Okay. It's time to walk around this ride. Point out all the chips, scratches, flaws, anything I can find. I'll try not to miss anything. He's getting ready to leave. This thing wild. like that. All right, let's get back to this. So what we're gonna do is walk around this, point out chips, scratches, flaws, rust, or anything I can find. We'll try the back windows out. We'll try the AC in the rear. And uh, then we'll conclude this video. Do remember I have 100 detailed pictures of this ride along with financing and shipping options. So let's get started here. Front bumper on this one's definitely been replaced along with the grill and the lights have been upgraded. I'm sure they're pretty bright. Got a little bit of pitting popping up on the grill. It's where the paint's messed up there. Coming down the lower portions on this. Trim sticking out a little bit. There's a little ding right there in the trim. Coming down the lower portion. Got a little spot from the road. little ding in the door and a little spot in the paint there coming up over the fender a couple little scratches at the bottom exhaust is hanging a little low the bracket needs to be tightened up back bumper has been replaced same with the tail lights, they look fairly new. There's a dent right here in the trim. Coming back to mid section. 
come right off. Light scratches on the door, it should buff out. Get yeah, a little indention right there. You got some paint chips right here. A little chip there. Got some light scuffs coming down the paint job. Your mirror here has got some uh, rust popping up. That would actually come right off. A little steel wool, light scrubbing. A little oxidation up here. But for the most part, that roof's in good shape. Front two windows are not tinted, the back, all the way back is. Get around the back here. Pretty good. Coming down this lower portion, you got some dings in your trim back here. A little scuff on the bumper on the edge. Down the lower portion. A couple dimples in the back, nothing major. Up and over, trim looks good. spot right there looks like you got a hellcat burning out out here there's a lot of action going on smoke that parking lot out didn't he there's rocks all in that parking lot too i bet he threw them all over that building he's getting ready to blister out of here so we're going to catch this on film if the traffic will hold up we'll get back to it in a minute we're stopped at this door on the bottom I guess he's not gonna do that. Well, that's a tire shot. He must be burning off what he had left. All right, coming back down. A little spot in the paint there. And there, you got a scuff here. A couple cracks at the bottom of this door. And a scratch right there at the bottom. There's a dent in your trim right here too. Smell that rubber. A couple dents in the trim there. And the paint has got some bubbling popping up there. Looks like just, it's not bubbling, that's thick paint. That's what they did. They just put it on too thick right below that light. Got light scuffs there, a couple dents in the trim here. Coming back to this midsection. A couple little chips in the paint. wax around that lock there you were uh seal right there's got a lot of cracks in it same thing on this side just needs to be cleaned up a little bit i could do that with a spray bottle and a piece of steel wool make it look like that rust was never there around the trim here you can't i don't think you can do it with that you'll have to fix that the seal looks good though 
I'd almost just paint that black. Just get something to run around that with a black little paintbrush. That's about, that's what I would do for sure on that front windshield. Get over the roof again. It does have that hazy spot. All right. Let's go ahead and get her started up. Check the interior out. You do have a spot in the seat that's weak. Let's see how thin it is right in there. The rest of the seat looks pretty good. That needs to be fixed. Door panel on this one, a little wavy at the bottom, but overall it's in good shape. See the carpet there's a little wavy. The jam looks awesome. Carpet looks good. It's a little stained on this side, right there. Probably somebody spilt their sweet tea in the floor. <laughs> We've already went over there and everything on the dash. Uh, rear AC, low. I think it's blowing back there. High. Oh, high makes some crazy noise. The AC in the back makes a crazy noise on high. So, yeah. Uh, rear window. Coming down. It's all the way down. Uh, we'll put it back up here in a second. Let's go back here and check it out. Came down pretty fast. Back seat. Door panel there. I like that. That looks cool. You know when you get that feeling you just want to keep vehicles? I just think this is so cool. It's really nice and clean. Hmm. Still don't know where to keep all this stuff. <laughs> you open these up inside here. What a tailgate. This back here is decent sub. I don't even know what it is. See if we can look at it. Wow, that's a 15. Look okay, that's loud. Okay, coming back up with this. There's a bag on it, just people don't try to break the window. I don't know what, what that's actually gonna do. But they put a bag on it. All right, so. Oh, get you straight, get you straight here. All right, back up with the window. I'll push the button the wrong way. Okay. There it is. Your butt was a little touchy, let me try it again. Now it's working every time. Okay, I got it working now. The little button here was being sensitive for a second, but it started working. Sorry if I had y'all facing the ceiling. I'm sitting here twisting my arm around trying to get a view of the back window there. Running good, cold AC. 
shut the hood down. All right. Guys, look at those detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. And if you like the video, hit subscribe, share this video, and hit like. I do my best to point out all the flaws. Sorry if I had a bad angle there in the interior. I was getting in a, in a bind. We post cars all the time for sale up here at Maple Motors. Check us out every Monday. New inventory. And I'm going to go grab another car. I've got four to do today.